Welcome back to the crypto simulation. Today I'm going to do an arrow price update because I feel like there's something that I need to tell you guys. Um, while I'm here, just to make sure this is not financial advice, nothing I tell you in this video, including price predictions, are an indicator of what you should do in this market. They are just my opinion and you can do with them as you wish. Also, please join my free telegram group at the snake pit. It's free and I give daily updates and alerts there, so be sure to sign up. Well, there's been some interesting developments with Aerodrome on the 12 hour. So I want to pull up a VRVP for you and you can see um, that we have managed to hold support at a level I did not think we'd be able to hold for long. So I thought for sure we were heading somewhere down into this region, which is kind of in the 25 cent zone. And you can see when we did our, we did about a 7x move off the bottom. I was expecting us to correct more than this, but We've actually held this line really nicely and I thought there was a chance it was going to break down and it hasn't. But, you know, we couldn't say anything definitively without breaking through this trend line. But we have done just that. Not only did we break through, but we back tested it and held it. Had a nice big candle up and then it looks like right now we have an indecisive candle. We'll see how this one closes. These are 12 hour candles, so we won't know for a little while. but. It looks to me like Arrow is a lot stronger than um, what I expected it to be. And, uh, you know, breaking through this upper trend line like this after just correcting for, you know, a little over a week is, is very impressive. Keep in mind that this was nearly a 7x off the bottom. That's a pretty strong move. Um, it didn't all happen at once, but it happened pretty quickly. And, here we are sitting at, you know, uh, 55 cents roughly. We were fighting 50 cents for a little while. Um, we, we kind of, you know, have broken above this level as well. Let me just turn this off. We've broken above this level right here at 54 cents. And we're trying to fight, you know, all we got left is the all-time high at this point before we go on another run. And this formation is starting to look very bullish. With my beam risk metric indicator, it is tricky to know what kind of interval you should use on an asset. Um, this asset hasn't been around that long, so you know only a little over a month. So I would go with a much smaller time frame than this. But if you're thinking on a long time frame, you could use a 12-hour beam. I'm going to actually change this beam to a four-hour beam. And on the four-hour beam, you can see that we briefly tapped the profit-taking zone, which for me is 0.65. We just barely wicked up to that on March 1st. Had a correction um, into what I think of as the fair value zone, but notice how we've been putting in higher lows and higher highs. So we've actually been in an uptrend on the beam for a little while now. And so if that uptrend is not broken and we just keep going up, there's a chance we shoot even higher now. And I would just, if you're an arrow holder, this is a metric that we want to pay attention to. We want to, we want to ensure that we take profits when it makes sense to do so. I like to take profits generally anywhere up in this zone. So uh, what could we expect if arrow does have another leg up? So to be honest with you, I don't know how high it will go, but it would probably be a diminished version of what happened over here because you will have some element of diminishing returns. So let's go ahead and see if we diminish this down a little bit what price that puts us at so i'm gonna squeeze this down and we can kind of see if this seems reasonable um <clears throat> you know i i i don't know how to make a price prediction on an asset that's this young but maybe like around if we got another mania leg which we're not guaranteed to get um, i imagine it's going to be a little less volatile than the first one so if we had a move, let's say to like $1.50, what kind of measured move would that be from our previous high? Just roughly about a 1.5x. That might be a little bit conservative, but you know, maybe like a 2x or so. Hard to really say. You know, another way we could do this is we could take a look at a, at a trend line of this high and extrapolate out a less steep slope of the next trend line. So I'm going to copy and paste that trend line and we're going to go put it over here. Okay, and I think we can see the arrow going to like $4 probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But what we could do is we could 
change the angle of this line, maybe a little bit like that. Okay, and put it down here, shrink it. You know, I'm kind of coming up with like that dollar fifty region. That's that's going to be my guess. Please don't hold me to that. Doing price predictions on something this volatile is like complete and utter nonsense. So yeah, that's like about a three x from where we are now. I mean, I guess that seems kind of reasonable. It does about a three x. So I'll go ahead and we'll, we'll roll with that for now. Um, gosh, if I end up being right about this, that's going to be pretty incredible. So. Let's see, let me just uh, put that here. So we'll create a little region. So we could say that if we do have another leg up, which looks actually quite likely right now, I think that our next stop would probably be in the $1.50 region. And I have to think that there'll be some profit taking at that point. We didn't really see much profit taking at all. Now, why is that? Why have we not seen much in the way of profit taking? I think the reason is because people believe in this asset it's got backing by base it's one of the first DeFi projects that's going to be on base and i mean you pretty much have meme coins that have been popping off like mochi and toshi but now you've got a legit DeFi play liquidity providing play um, with some really great incentives you know i did a whole video on aerodrome where i went through the project so be sure to check that one out i'll link it in the um i'll link it in the um uh, after the this video is over but yeah, so that seems like a possibility that we could head to around the $1.50 region. That's just a wild guess though. We are seeing a little bit of bearish convergence on the average sentiment oscillator, probably because of this undecisive candle, so it's something we should keep an eye on. Now the RSI, this is the KZX RSI, got really hot, but it's had a chance to cool off. It has not cooled off as much as I thought that it would, but it seems to be respecting this trend line. So. I don't know if this bounce is going to be sustained and we're going to head into another leg up or if we're going to come back down and retest this. But like I said, breaking through that that flag pattern that we had created is, is a huge move and it is definitely in, indicating some kind of price stability here. Weighted logarithmic Bollinger Bands are squeezing and we're above the median line. Odds are this will be a breakout to the upside. Okay. Okay, we're stacked above all our moving averages. The 10 is trying to uh, crawl up above the 20 though. Um, so we're looking at a potential golden cross here pretty soon of the 10 and 20. Uh, golden crosses and death crosses don't mean anything by the way. It's just a technical term for one longer term moving average crossing over another. Gaussian channel has widened and it looks like it may be starting to head concave down. So I'm not expecting anything like this. Okay. I'm just not. Um, it will be all likelihood a less dramatic move, but it's going to put you more in profit. So who cares, right? So um, probably from where we are now, I would say something around a two to three X move would be what I'm anticipating to the upside, followed by some kind of correction. We can't keep going up. I mean, <laughs> you know, that's what I said here. I said we were going to come down. Uh, we just wicked into, you know, about 30 cents. So uh, Aerodrome pulled a, bo pulled a Bitcoin <laughs> where it looked like it was going to correct, but we just kind of had a fake out to the downside. And this is going to be seen as more of kind of a intermediate consolidation zone. Uh, there's still room to run higher, but eventually people are going to want to take profits. So we'll keep an eye on this, uh, on this asset over the next few days. And in my Telegram, I'll be sure to do updates on it um, regularly so we can uh, keep up with it. So join my free Telegram group at the Snake Pit, which I just mentioned. There's a link in the video description and uh, you'll get a free portfolio management tool. Just mention it when you get there and I will be sure to send it to you or one of my members. We have about 150 members in there. We've only been doing this for a month. We've been growing like crazy. So also be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified about more videos like this one and stay up to date with the latest news with the projects that you hold and projects that you might want to get into. All right, until next time. Thanks for thanks for joining me in the crypto simulation.